Welcome to the City and County of Denver's existing building electrification program. This is an instructional video to show contractors how to request access to our electrification feasibility report tool, referred to in this video as EFR. The EFR is our turnkey platform for performing and managing electrification feasibility reports. Additionally, this video will show you how to create your contractor business profile and add contractors who will be performing EFRs within that business profile. If you've attended the EFR contractor training, then you should have a link in your training slide deck. Otherwise, you can navigate to the City and County of Denver's Electrification Feasibility Reports tab, and there's a link in this page to request access to the EFR tool. Once you've opened the contractor access request form, just input your first and last name, company information and phone number, as well as your email address, and then click save and close. Once submitted, you will first receive an email notification to confirm your submission. Please allow one to two business days for your request to be reviewed. And once we review your request, you'll receive another email approving or denying your request. Once approved, it will give you a link to create your user login. Use your same email address that you used in the form. And then you will be prompted to input your first and last name and create a password. Please note that the passwords are case sensitive. Agree to the terms and conditions and click register. You should receive one final email with a link that will ask you to sign into the tool using your same email and password that you've just created and that should get you into the electrification tool. Click on the Denver electrification purple link on the left, and that'll get you into your user dashboard. Along the top, you'll see sev several icons such as home, pro program application, EFRs, electrification projects, buildings, and contractors. And then there's companies over here on the far right. Companies and contractors are referring to your company and any contractors that will be completing EFRs. If you click on companies, you should see the company information that you submitted in your form. Click on the little I here, and if you scroll down, you should see your name down here as a contractor within that company. If you need to add new contractors, simply add contractor, and you'll be asked to input the contractor's first and last name, phone number, and email address. Then click Save and Close, and now that contractor should show up within your company. So let's go back and view our company, scroll down, and now I can see that there are two names and two contractors within my test company here. So now let's click on the Buildings tab, and here you should see any of the buildings that are preloaded or that you've been working on. Um, it's important before you go on site that you search the building address that you're going to complete an EFR. So let's say in this case, I'm going to demo building number five. I'll click on the little eye icon. And here I can see some general building info. And this is where I would actually add the electrification feasibility report for that building address. Once I've added an EFR to that building, I can also click the EFR tab at the top. And this is where I'll see all the EFRs that I'm working on or that are in process. Let's say that you are searching for a building that doesn't show up in the list. Let's say 4576 something else. Well, it didn't show up. So we can click on the blue icon in the top right that allow us to create a new building. And then I can search the building address at the top or add the address in the next cell down. So add the building details, the city, state, zip code. And then it'll ask you to also Add the total building square footage, whether or not the building is air conditioned, and then you can add any other details for other incentives that you might be investigating. And then for the owner name, it's also important to first search for the owner that you might be working with, or you can create a new owner. Click the pop-up and you'll be asked to fill out the owner's first and last name. You can also make the window larger if you need to. So let's just make up an owner here, uh, Chris Smith. And then I forgot what the address was that we typed in. Uh, 
it's 4576 something. Let's just input an address here. This is just a fake address, but you'll want to input the owner's address. That can be the address of their business or their address of the building. Uh, state, zip code, city. And then we're also going to put in the owner's email address. Just make something up here. And phone number. And then you don't need to worry about the uh, the W9 and EIN number. So just hit save and close. And now that owner should be saved in that building. So when I refresh my buildings tab, and I'll go to 4576 again, click on the little view icon, and now you can see that that owner's name has been added to the building. And that is all you need to do to have access to the Electrification Feasibility Report tool online. If you have any questions, please shoot us an email at electrification at denvergov.org. And thank you for watching.